to live chat. Ah, guard my privacy. Now let's see if we can get you up here. So we can get the comments on the side. Much easier than trying to figure it out reading it here, because Dish with you is blind. Actually not blind, she's just nearsighted. We're farsighted. I got confused. Alrighty. I'm here. I am live. Here we are. Let's put that up. Let's be buddies. Hi, Barb. Welcome to Tea with G. That'd be me. Hi, Charlene. Hey, Donna. The kids are coming in. The kids are coming in. I'm having a delicious dessert tea right now. I can't tell you how good this is. I'm having... Hi, Ashante. I like your name. <gasps> oh, I'm having dinner with Lisa. What are we having, Lisa? Hi, Belinda. I'm having Davidson's coconut vanilla dessert tea. There's a little freckle on my thing. Let me tell you something. Best... It doesn't taste like coconut either. That's what's funny. I mean, it tastes like vanilla. It tastes like a cookie. A vanilla cookie. That's what it tastes like. That's all I'm saying. I got some fun stuff to go over tonight. We got, we're going to do a tasting. Chaka Wright sent me out some samples. What I don't understand is they didn't send me out a, a, um, a discount code. Like, just saying. I don't know. I wouldn't buy it without a code. I'm all about you know, giving you guys a discount. And then again, maybe I won't like it. But maybe I will. Because there's, I'm not trying all of them because they sent me a few different ones. But I wanted to show you. This is called their Cookies and Cream. And this bar, I believe, is three points. Pretty big. One piece. This one... Peanut butter cup patties. There's two. Hey, Donna, Diane. This peanut butter cup patty, the whole thing is four points for both peanut butter patties. I'm all for a peanut butter patty. And there's a dark chocolate crunch. 100 calories for smart points. Hey, Janet. And they sent me, did I open up what this is? Milk chocolate crisp bar. That's this one. This one, I believe, is four smart points, too. Yes, four smart points. A malt-free, gluten-free, kosher, all-natural, sweetened with stevia. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Edie. So, yeah, I got some, you know, chocolate. I'm not sure I'm going to like it, but, yeah. We'll see. We'll get to that. I don't know how I'm going to taste because I don't have many points left. Oh, have you heard anything good about them? I've never had them, so I'm interested if anybody has. They're very low in points. Uh, you know, not that I'm in the market because Built Bars sort of suffice that, but it's always good to find a new chocolate. Just saying. Just saying. But yeah, they didn't send me any kind of a discount code, which is kind of not, not nice. Hey, Donna. Hey, how we all do this week? I lost one pound. One pound brings my total loss to 112.4. I don't know. That's a really good question, Donna. I don't know if you can get them on Amazon or not. I can look because I got the computer right here. So I'm going to hit up Amazon while we're chatting. You can tell me all how you did. All right, let's see. You might be able to get them on Amazon. I love Amazon. I mean, seriously, I love Amazon. And, and if you heard, I have an Amazon storefront. <gasps> you gained how much, Diane? Oh, they do have chocolate right on here. Aw, thank you, Edie. Two. I've been there. I've been there, Diane. I've been there. I can't judge. Down point two, good for you, Charlene. It's, you know what? Sometimes we have to have that little bit of a gain. Ooh, maintaining is always a win. We have to have a little bit of a gain. It gets us refocused. Yes, Amazon does have chocolate. 
so I need to put them on my storefront. Yes, we will. Yep, I don't know how good these, these are again, 18, let me see, 18 ounce. How many do you get? Let's go to the peanut butter clusters. How about the peanut butter cups, because they're the ones I want to try the most. Stay with me, kids. I'm just going to look this up. Here they are. Peanut butter cup. 16 counts. So is that 16 count cups or 16 count packs? 16 count. So that would be, comes a little over typical, close to a little under $2 a pack. That's standard for anything that's, you know, we get stuff that's lower in calorie and lower in points. I know. And peanut butter patties. I was excited. I have to, I may have to try two because I definitely want to try them. Oh, the pizza. Yeah. Yeah, I have, I have 1.6 to get to goal. It's a lot. And we're also doing this countdown challenge. It's, it's like a challenge for the next eight weeks because obviously it's Thanksgiving and Christmas and it wants to stay on plan. So if we're really behaving and doing all these wonderful things, sorry about that. We'll stay on plan. Hey, Tamsin. Um, so that's, you know, I, the last three years I've been on Weight Watchers during the holiday. I've done, always done, oh, look at Donna losing 3.6. I hope I make it only because I just want to get there. I mean, even if I don't stay there, I got there. That's what I think. You know, I got there once, but I, um, Thanksgiving's never my issue. My issue is always Christmas. It's the sinking cookies. Because I, I think Thanksgiving, you can, you could, I change up Thanksgiving, and the only really fattening thing I really eat is my stuffing, and that's not even that fattening. Hey, Suzanne! So I don't, I'm not too worried about Thanksgiving. It's Christmas I worry about. It's the cookies and the parties. Because you can't control what other people have. As much as we try, we can't. I'm having this. What are you guys drinking, by the way? I am drinking Davidson's Coconut Vanilla. Way better than the Tazo Coconut Macaron. Or the Vanilla Macaron. That's what it's vanilla. Macaron. Or you can say Macaron. I say Macaron. Either way it works. Macaron just sounds more. Hey, Holly! Uh, we're so happy that you join us, Holly. Ooh, you made chocolate chip cookies from the Kodiak box today? Now, were they from the Kodiak pancake mix, or were they from the Kodiak, like, cookie? Because I know they have, like, a brownie box and a muffin box. That's my question. By the way, this, I think I already said this, but this tea is the bomb. I like it. I have to say, I, I've, I've... I think I'm into organic pancake mix. Diane, you need to share that. Email me that, please. Was it on the back of the box, or did you, like, come up with it? <gasps> did you like it? I'm telling you, Donna. Did you, did you get your 10% off with the... Or no, 20% off with my code. 20? That's, a, that's the best I've ever seen them give a discount. It's 20. I'm like, oh, wow. They're very, very nice. I have to... They really, really are a very, very nice company. Oh, on the box. Okay, I'm going to have to either... If I can't find it, I'm going to hit you up. Send me that. Or take a picture. But this dessert tea is the bomb. The bomb. I've had it like three nights this week. It's so good. Oh, cinnamon apple tea. That was my... I had... That was my other choice, but I really do like this one. So I wanted it again. And it's funny. It doesn't taste very coconutty because sometimes, you know... Sometimes things taste... It doesn't. This tastes like a vanilla cookie. It reminds me of a vanilla cookie. Let's go over the topic du jour. Then we'll get to tasting. All right, the recipe du jour is sauteed chicken with a lemon caper sauce. I love lemon caper sauces. <gasps> I love capers. I love lemon. Real lemon. I am not a fan of lemon extract. Ugh. I think it tastes like pledge. But real lemon, I love. And I love the lemon tea on Davidson's. And I don't want to keep sidetracking back to that, but... All right, this week's topic is know your own strengths. Whatever your wellness goal, you'll get there faster if you tap into your natural strengths. These characteristics make you feel like your best self. Your first step is zero in on what you they are, what to do. 
the VIA Institute of Characters have identified 25 positive traits shared by people everywhere. Take a look at the whole group below and pick out the five that best describe you. Then choose one and lean on a lean on a while you go after the lean on while you go after your goal this week so if you love of learning is big for you you might want to try a new recipe or if kindness is one of your top traits you can focus on posting at least three encouraging comments on connect would oh, I miss people come in <laughs> good evening Kim bed good hey Suzanne Brown <gasps> Carrie Price keep linking out of here But yes, these are these are the, these are the things. There's like teamwork, preserv perseverance. Well, I couldn't say that. Honesty, curiosity, zest, appreciation of beauty, humor, humility, love, spirituality, love of learning, social intelligence, forgiveness, prudence, judgment, fairness, hope, creativity, self-regulation, bravery, kindness, perspective, leadership, and gratitude. My personal favorite was honesty. I'll tell you why. Because I told this at my meeting. I was never truly honest, I don't think, with myself. And it's not like I was lying to myself. I don't think I actually believed it. I never believed that I had a weight problem. I mean, I know I had a weight problem, don't get me wrong. I didn't think it was my own fault. I thought it was more like, this is my genes. I just don't move enough. It, I'm hereditary. But really, I ate my face off. I know the new apps tomorrow. So yeah. So my big one is honesty. And as I think I told you this week, zest for life. Because you know what? When you're told if you didn't get help for your sleep apnea, you'd be dead in six months. I'm on a new life. I really am. And here I'm living my best life. At 53, I'm living my best life. And here's a funny story. I was walking the dog with my husband. Hey, Ellie Helzer. And I tripped. Actually, I was with my husband. He had the dog. I was just, I, I was walking myself. Forgiveness is a big one. I'm an Italian. <laughs> that say it all. Um, and he had the dog. He was a little bit ahead of me. He always is. He's got longer legs. So I'm walking and I t stumbled and I fell on the pavement. And I went right down. Actually, I stumbled and went right down. Oh my God. I don't know if it's because I lost weight or I don't know. But I, he's like, did you break, you know, did you break anything? I'm like, I don't know. It hurt. You know, things hurt right away. And my arm was, face is a little scratched and my knee's bruised. But you know what? It's not broken, dislocated, or just bruised. And I actually could use it. So I, I think because I'm in better shape, if I was 112 pounds heavier, I think I would be in pretty bad shape. Of course, I would have more padding. But other than that, yes, the new app rolls out tomorrow. Who's nervous? I'm not really that nervous. I'm just nervous for you guys because I'm staying where I am because I've, you know, I'm comfortable here. I've accepted freestyle finally. It took me um, a long time. So, no, I'm pretty good with it. I, I'm just, you know, I'm really good with it. Yeah, I'm staying put. There's... A lot of people are excited for the purple plan, and I, I, what, what I find funny because this purple plan or whatever they call it, um, Freestyle Plus or whatever they're going to call it, has more zero point foods. So if you are, if you are not having success on freestyle, the odds are with more foods, you have to. Um, why does it keep doing this? It's blinking out. Um, you have to. Hey, Frankie Fit loves in the house. We're gonna we're gonna try look I have candy to try. I have Chuck Zero. They sent me some. So I'm not sure which one I'm gonna open. Though I'm thinking the peanut butter is the only one I'm gonna open. But if you have a problem with me with um why does this keep blinking? I'm not quite sure. There's nothing on here. Let's just uh if you have a problem with portions like I do, that one makes me a little bit nervous. So I've decided I'm not having too much issues with freestyle. I'm going, oh, my tuna and chickpeas. That's a good salad. That is an awesome salad. And before I forget, I uploaded Dip Week is started. Yes, 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 yes. I finally did it. Got my first dip recipe uploaded today. It's live. It's um, eggplant, Ina Garten's eggplant dip. It's almost zero points. 
Uh, I hear you, Edie. I hear you. Because it's, it's, well, the only, I mean, I don't know how to say this. I mean, it's, yeah, I get because, oh, okay, Frankie, we're always glad to have you for it any time we can. Now, I must, let me taste because Robbie's here because now I'm dying to taste. We'll get back to that. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard with all different point systems because, um, with a lot of more zero point foods, recipes are either going to be the same or I think a little bit lower. But if you're green plan, then you got to count everything. So that's, I want to try the peanut butter cup. This whole, both are two pieces and both are four points. So one would be two. The dip's fantastic, Carrie. I've been making this for years. I didn't realize how low in points it was. All right, let's see what this looks like. Okay, you get two of them. Of course, my only complaint is they're kind of a little, these must be like seconds. Did a 10 year old make these? Hey, Betsy. So yeah, that's kind of, the dip's fantastic. Tomorrow will be the, either the hummus or the carrot. I think I'm gonna try to do the carrot. But these, these are the peanut butter. They look like a hot mess, but I'll try it anyway. They do look homemade. Okay. So the inside. Now here's the thing. If you're thinking of a Reese's peanut butter cup, slightly, a chocolate, I know they're not pretty. Um, the chocolate's not as good as the Hershey's. Of course, I'm a Hershey snob. This is Chocolate Right, Robbie. I mean, it's good. The peanut butter's not like the Reese's either. Do you know what it reminds me of? A powdery Clark bar. Like somebody got a Clark bar and crushed it up. I mean, it's not tacky or anything. I eat it. I am eating it. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. But it's not. Of course, it's obviously, it's lower in fat and calories than a Reese's peanut butter cup. Mmm. Yeah. I'd buy these. I'm a heartbeat. Four for the pack. So both pieces will be two, four small points. This is the second one. If it has a little more chocolate on it, then that's the difference. Mmm. Oh. Yep. These are going on my Christmas list. Mm. Mm -mm, it isn't, considering what a, Reese, what a um, Reese's peanut butter cup is. I am drinking coconut almond Davidson's, if anybody's interested. Delish. This with can offer you 20% off. Okay. Dark chocolate crunch. I'm not in the mood for I'm really in the mood for this one. This one is called... Uh, here's the box. Chaco Right Milk Chocolate Crisp Bar. This whole bar, ooh, don't even have the same tea, is four smart points. I'm only gonna have a piece though, because I don't have that many points left over. Yes. Okay. Ooh, this looks like one of those um, Nestle's Crunch Bars, but with less points. So what's nice, it's divided into four pieces. So each piece is a point. I like that. Oh, because if I just want a point's worth, I can just pop a point's worth. See the back? Okay. Yeah. Oh. It tastes a little... Actually, Tamsin, it doesn't taste anything like coconut. I mean, the chocolate isn't the best chocolate I've ever had. Like, of course, the Bill Bars have that delicious dark chocolate. So, I mean, the chocolate's okay. But, what it reminds me of? Dollar store chocolate. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. Yeah. I mean, if I was desperate, maybe. But... I'm a chocolate snob. Yeah. Alright, I still like the peanut butter one. I don't think I'd buy that. It tastes like dollar store chocolate. And you know what I'm talking about. Dollar store chocolate. Yeah, not my favorite. Alright, this one. I want to taste the cookies and cream. 
This one, my friends, is only three smart points because it's a protein one. 100 calories, zero grams of sugar, two net carbs, and nine grams of protein. Yeah, I'm a Hershey's gal too. And Hershey's is about only a few hours for me. We get there almost once, maybe once every other year. Oh, uh, and if you ever go to... That was weird. Fell off. Yeah, I'm not impressed with their... Like, look at this. I mean... Did five-year-old make these? Uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Hey, Barbara, we're having chocolate. And so far, the peanut butter cup, I'd order the other one. Now, this one, I don't know. The taste, it, it's going to be that crappy chocolate, I know it. But I'm not impressed with their, their hey, Donna. They have packaging issues. They have quality control issues. Okay. I don't want all of it. I'm going to have to just bite it. Well, it's better than the last one. I mean, the cookies, it tastes like there's like the Oreo inside. I don't know if you can see it. It's chewy. Mm hmm. Oh, you see the cookies? I mean, it reminds me of a quest bar inside. <laughs> it reminds me of. I took a cookies and cream quest bar and dipped it in chocolate. Oh, it is a chocolate right cookies and cream protein bar. I know. This isn't bad. I mean, I probably would order it. I'm in for three points. My husband's gonna eat a lot of treats tonight. Yeah, that one was decent. For some reason, this one, chocolate tastes like crap. <laughs> I wouldn't buy these. But the peanut butter one I would, and that one was pretty good. I actually like that. Other than the quality control issue, All right, do I have another one here? I'm going to put them on. I opened that one, that one. Do I still have one more? This one. Ah, dark chocolate crunch. Yeah, hey, Lainey, we're tasting chocolate, or is I'm tasting chocolate. This one is for smart points, and you get two pieces. I like, I do kind of like that, because uh, if I only want a piece. Okay. Now, this one looks interesting. So this will be two smart points. Let's see if the other one looks the same. Because we all know the quality control stinks. All right, it's a little bit better. They actually look even. That's a first. Okay. So I hope I have enough smart points left because I don't know how many I've eaten. Um, let me see. It's like a caramel, dark chocolate, and crunch. The chocolate is better in this one. It's good. See? Um, I got them yesterday. These are, yeah, a turtle. Perfect, perfect, ex yeah. Except that they have the crunchies versus the nuts. Um, probably a half of everything. That was one. Peanut butter was two. I'd say about four or five. Um, Amazon. So you can go on their website directly. I know, like everybody wanting chocolate now. Now, they sent them to me to try. They sent me a few. They said, you know, they wanted me to be a, um, an affiliate. 
but I just looked at this stuff that they sent me. Um, they didn't offer me a coupon, so why would I promote something that you guys can't get discount for? This ain't I'll have to say about that. Because I don't promote something unless you guys get a deal. That's why I do. I don't do it for myself. Yeah, that was the winner. The only one I did not, would not recommend was this one. The Milk Chocolate Crisp Bar. I had hopes for this one, too. But no, it tastes like dollar store chocolate, and it just was not good. But the other, the peanut butter one was good. The cookies and cream one was good. And this, um, they sent me a few others. I only grabbed a couple. Dark Chocolate Crunch. I'd recommend that one. They're, like, close to almost, I don't know. Can we fit what they are? Let me run on to... Amazon is $27 for 16 count. Now, is that 16 two-packs? I would assume so. So, it's close to a little over, like, less than, a little less than $2 dollars a, a pack. But don't, let me see if I, can get, if I can get a code, a coupon, if you guys get a little bit cheaper. Well, I've never seen them. I've heard, um, Barrett always talks about them. She always says how good they are. So they finally, you know, we kind of hooked up, and yes, they're all from Chocolate. Yep. But let me see if I can give you guys a discount, because I don't like the fact that they didn't offer that. But they were okay. I mean, I'd buy the peanut butter, and I'd probably buy that Chocolate Crispy, and I'd probably buy the cookies and cream. Because I love, I'm a big fan of those uh, Quest Bars. I like the Quest Bars. I like the one with the brownie and the um, peanut butter on it. It's so good. Yes, let me, um, let me work on that, guys. Guys and gals, I'm going to work. I'm gonna email them tomorrow and tell them, yo, you're going to hook me up with the code because uh, people aren't going to buy them without one. I wouldn't buy one without one either. I've never seen them at Walgreens. They might have them. I love Bill Bars. Mm -hmm. I am an ambassador for Bill Bars. Yes, Quest Bars are WW friendly. The um, ones I have are usually four points. I don't have a hair on my mouth. I got a hair from that candy. <laughs> All the Quest Bars I eat are usually the four point ones, possibly a five point. So keep a look out. There's something on my, oh, there it is. There's that stinking hair. Yeah, Quest Bars. Oh, really? Oh yeah. Anything that's protein, usually try to scan it. Um, I always tell people, go into Target, go where they have their bars, and they always have like their kind bars and stuff. Go to the kids and scan the kids' bars, because most of the kid bars are three points. And they're a decent size. I don't like to give more than three or four points to a bar. That's my limit. And the Weight Watchers bars are like this big. Size matters when it comes to a $10 packs of bars. Hey, Lori, welcome. He wants more built bars. Oh, yeah. my I'm, I'm in love with the peanut butter right now. Uh, well, let's see. Here's the thing. These have chocolate, Quest doesn't. That's the difference. Um, so if you're looking for chocolate, you might want to try, ch or or Bilt Bars. If you've ever tried Bilt Bars, Ellie, because they're the bomb. And I highly recommend the peanut butter. And I highly recommend the vanilla and the salted caramel. Peanut butter Bilt Bars are my favorite too. They're so good. Um, I like the vanilla, the strawberry, which they're discontinuing. Hey, Jeannie. Um, salted caramel, I adore. Um, banana, chocolate cream, I adore. The mocha. And I don't drink coffee, but to me, they taste like dark chocolate. It doesn't taste anything like coffee. And trust me, if it tasted anything like coffee, I'd spit it out. A lot of people don't like the bill bars with the texture. You're not alone there, Barbara. Oh, that's good. This is like having a piece of candy. I love chocolate, too. Now I'm having... What am I having? Oh. I did film it, but I won't go up till tomorrow. I filmed, I had a flowering tea, and I had a filming opening up. A lot of people like the coconut almond. I don't, I'm not a fan of coconut. I mean, I don't 
dislike coconut. It's not something I go go for. But a lot of people who like coconut love the coconut bell bars. They say, especially the coconut almond, they say it tastes like an almond joy. But again, I don't like almond joy, so. Yeah, they aren't too bad. Let me see. I'm going to work on a code tomorrow. I'm going to email them and see if I can get you guys a discount code because you know what? And I'm going to compare the prices on their website versus Amazon. And I'll get, I'll get, I'll get back to you with all the deets. Depends, Tamsin. Some herbal things taste too herbally, but I don't mind. I drink all my, 90% of my teas are drunk, drunk cold. I, oh, Carrie, they're the perfect size. Girlfriend, cheers to you. I wish they, I, I want more. Yes, I'm sure they will have a Christmas. I'm thinking eggnog. I'm thinking either a candy cane, like a peppermint. That's what I'm thinking, but they don't ask me anything. I just hock their crap. They don't ask me anything, but I think you're going to see like an eggnog, maybe a gingerbread. That's what I'm thinking. All right, Allie, you fold your laundry. Um, everybody excited about the rollout this week of the new places? I know there's a lot of things up on YouTube, a lot of the... A lot of the people went to meetings today, and I know Barrett posted. I know Jen's WW Journey posted. Um, I probably in M with Nurse probably posted. So if you guys are looking to find out about the plans, I don't go till the end of the week, so I can only post hearsay. But if you guys are interested, you could check out their channels and see what they what they have to say. And but it, they said it was everything like they had predicted. So it's the three plans: purple, green, and blue freestyle simply filling freestyle plus and smart points i can't believe they brought smart points back i kind of get why they brought the smart points back but it was never my favorite plan that's why i can go back to count my chicken count my eggs count my greek yogurt mm, not gonna happen for me i thought they should have brought back points plus that's just my opinion yes barrett barrett lost three pounds this week i think or 3.2 that little skinny thing and she's skinny so i'm like holy cow she lost three pounds i still hope for me <laughs> um a lot of people like that devotion protein powder for recipes um i've used quest before it was okay i mean devotion you can get on um on their website or you can actually can get it on amazon amazon sells the it's angel food or brownie batter or chocolate and vanilla so you guys can get it on amazon as well i have it linked in my amazon store if you're interested <laughs> i'm staying freestyle blue too but i'm doing it what i call magenta and magenta is blue plan with purple foods i know i'm a little bit wacky I figure all those wonderful things in the purple plan that are zero points obviously have calories. So if I stick to a portion and count the points, that's what I'm trying to do. Figure they're all really good stuff. That stuff I pretty much eat anyway, like brown rice and quinoa and pear, uh, popcorn that's air popped. Uh, well, the, I mean, mine isn't air popped, it's microwave, but I don't have any fat in it. But, um,. I'm doing that. That's uh, that's basically what I'm doing now. Yes, I am creating my own plan. It's called the Dish with D Magenta Plan. Yes, see, Gina, we're all... Because I have to count. I have to account for food. Because if you're telling me quinoa is zero, I'm going to put me a nice plate full. Exactly, Mary. I complained all the time. And my, my biggest complaint, and I'm sure it's not changed, is nowhere does Weight Watchers say you can't eat what you want. They'll say eat till you're satisfied. Well, heck, I'm never satisfied, so that's not going to work. I want them to say, all right, these are zero points, but you can only have so much of them a day. But they don't say that. So I think that's why a lot of people like me, 
who have a problem with food and a problem with amounts of food can go off the kilter. I very focused that of, of what I'm eating. I don't have a lot of this and I measure my rice. I measure my quinoa. I measure my, I only have so many eggs a day. I, um, I met, I put yogurt in a, I measure that. So I'm not eating way too much. Yes. Portion size. Exactly. And that is key. And I, and I'm trying to be more diligent in that. So I know but on the app, when I put my quinoa in, I'll look in the back and what a portion is, is what I'm going to eat. And I'm going to count it. That's my 23 points I'm going to go to. Because I eat oats. I eat all this stuff that the Purple Planet has pretty much faithfully. So that's how I'm doing it. Uh, you know, I, it ain't broke. Don't fix it. I, I'm close enough that I could just, you know, I have to count though. Yeah, I, if, if freestyle didn't work with portions, what makes them think purple's going to work with that? And I'm saying like that just, it's, I don't know. I don't know what, the, I don't know what they were thinking. I would have maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Oh, I got that on QVC. It's glass. I should link that. I should have put the link for the QVC. It's fantastic. And when I got it, Christmas time. You have guys have to watch QVC at Christmas time. They're always having deals with stuff. That was a you get you got several in I think I got three of them in a pack. But yes. It's my I had I've always had a misto, but they always like cracked and got all funky. But this one, what told me on it was it was glass. I pumped that. Oh yes, I love QVC too. Oh I get all my um it cosmetics from there because at Christmas they have all the deals. That includes the brushes and stuff, and they always have the you know they bundle and it's very inexpensive. I consider a portion of chicken breast probably, I go by the additive, the palm of my hand. Cause that was back in the day, it was like a palm. So I probably have a palm size of chicken. That's what I do. Use the old palm. Figures like it's, it's, it's the easiest measuring tool. You know, I just kind of go, yeah. I mean, especially um, if it's thighs and stuff, because, you know, they're points and they're a little fatty, but I do love my thighs. In fact, this recipe is chicken thighs. Doesn't that look delish? I love me a lemon caper sauce. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. I know they're going to, I was going to upgrade tomorrow. And this was, according to my, to my coach, she said, it will walk you through. It'll give you a series of questions and it will walk you through. And like she said, she goes, if you wind up picking the wrong plan, you can go in and change it. So I'm told it's not supposed to be that complicated. You know what? But I'll believe it when I see it because, you know, with Weight Watchers, everything is complicated. Yes. Let me look. Oh, you guys, I will pull it up here since I'm on the computer. I could actually pull QVC up. Hopefully they still have it. I have not checked. But as we're chatting, I can look. Uh, so they might not have it, but they might. Do, 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 do. What can we help you discover? Misto. Let's say. Hey, Tony. Let's say. Is it? Yeah. Don't see it. I'm looking up a Misto spray. Why don't they have it? Maybe I should call it Misto olive oil spray. That would have worked. They had one that looked like a... No, I don't like the other one. I like that one. Oh. You missed the taste test. We were tasting Chocorite. Some I liked, some I didn't. It. I don't see it. Let me do some more research and I will post it. Mary, let me look it up later and I'll post it. I can't find it right now. Oh, thank you. I'm thinking about maybe doing some kind of um digital cookbook because I don't, I don't I'm trying I'm, I'm trying to think of maybe doing trying to, trying to get the website up I'm trying to make one of those ones from I'm technically challenged 
So I've started it. I just, you know. Yeah, I love the Easy Pay is fantastic. And now it's you have till the end of like the middle of end of January to return things for Christmas, which is nice because if you, if you get something and it's not right, you saw you could solve time to return if you're buying it for Christmas. I love watching the gourmet foods. <laughs> I sit there, I torture myself watching the foods and the desserts. We have a Junior's Cheesecake Outlet, not too far from where I live. It's about 40 minute ride. Yeah, we go there like once or twice a year because they have seconds for like two dollars and the mini ones for a dollar. Yeah, and we always buy some because if we go, if we go out to um, people's houses over the holidays, you bring cheesecake and they, oh, it's a Junior's cheesecake. I'm like, yeah, it's a dollar, two dollars, but it's really, really good. It's fantastic, and they have all the ones on QVC. It's I'm not that lucky because, yeah. Having cheesecake around is, you know, deadly. So I have to say, um, Junior's, I mean, cheesecake is one of the probably better things to eat for dessert. You've never seen QVC, Diane. Okay. They said tomorrow, maybe because it's not tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah. this Weight Watchers is gives you agita. I saw somewhere when somebody's posted, somebody posted that she did this research and all three plans, it's 1,400 calories. Just no matter what way you worded it, worked it, each plan was 1,400 calories. So like I said, everything is under the Smart Points umbrella, the point system. So each of the three plans follows the Smart Points calculations, fat, I mean, saturated fat, calories, sugar, and protein. Hey, Tracy! So, that's good. At least that's some sort of consistency, but you, all, you have to take consider what's zero in one plan and what's not zero in another, and just, you know, go from there. But remember, portions. Oh, absolutely. I think you have to definitely weigh, measure, and track. Um, no, I ha actually I don't have a Fitbit. I have an Apple Watch. So it usually syncs pretty well, but there's times it doesn't, and I just have to just, like, shut the app off. But, yeah, that's what I'm doing the magenta plan, which is blue, with eating purple foods and counting them. So that's, I have to count. Plus, if I don't count, then we'll be good. It's a saying. Because I could really go ape shit. Literally. Oh, and if you could, well, those of us just joining us, I just had some chocolate, right? I'm working on a discount code because, but I did enjoy the cookies and cream. And I did enjoy the dark chocolate crunch. Three points, four points, and three point, four points, I think, for this one. The peanut butter. You get two. Yeah. I did not enjoy this one. Tasted like Dollar Tree chocolate. Don't know why, but I did not enjoy that one. Yes, they are. Now, I'm actually, it's not, it's just tweaking their plan. They may come after me and want to take credit for it. Yeah, oh, many times I pretend things didn't happen. 
Hence, you know, it took me so long to lose weight. Do you know, I was gonna take a picture and I forgot. I have a non-scale victory to share. I, back when I started three years ago, I told you 270, I couldn't buy clothes at Kohl's. Kohl's three X's didn't fit, they were too small. And my son works at Kohl's and he'd be like, you gonna come shopping? Like, why don't you come shop here? I'm like, I'm like, I can't. I said, they, they wouldn't fit the pants. I couldn't get anything in the pants. The tops were always too tight. It was, you know, was, and I used to always say, my favorite line was they run small. Not that I ran big, that the clothes ran small. Like I said, lied to myself my whole life. I, you know, never would take responsibility for my weight. Clothes run small. So I just went and got some stuff on clearance about a month ago. And it was because it was winter stuff, which I don't know, it must have been last year's winter stuff. But Dish with D has purchased size medium. Yeah, how do you go from not fitting into a 3X at Kohl's to now buying a size medium? So I wanted to share that. I And actually the medium sweater really looks nice on. I was going to take a picture and say, wow, here you go, Kohl's size medium. Went from not being able to shop at Kohl's, could go in the medium section. So I'm super, super duper happy about that. Yes. Oh yeah, I always say that all the time. Oh, the sizes, they just don't really run small. Not that I run big. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Exactly, Tams. And these are, I guess, it's giving you more options and it's making things more flexible. And people who like zero point foods have that option. And people who need more structure have that option. So that, it's, it's good. I just wish they would have brought back Points Plus with that. I think that should have been an option. Thank you, Betsy. Yeah, it's, it's, when I think about it, I, I don't know. And I fell last night and I was able to get right up and nothing broke. And that's a big non-scale victory. I probably would have been still laying on the concrete if 107, I mean, 112 pounds heavier. I got myself up. Nobody had to help me. I said, I got it. I, I can get up. I mean, it was a little sore and my knee's a little bit bruised, but it's not broken, not dislocated. I tripped. The uneven pavement. And I'm one of those people that don't pick my feet up when I walk. My own fault. Yeah, one of those, you know, scuff along the way. And it was a, at night walking the dog. And we always walk our dog late because he's very animated. So when, when there's nobody else around, he walks better. So, yep. Yep, a medium. That's hashtag craziness for me. But, oh, you okay? I mean, when, I, when I'm laying there, I'm thinking, before I moved, I went, oh, God, I hope I didn't break anything. Can you imagine breaking my something? I would have been like mortified. But it is what it is. Are you all right, Diane? Did you get hurt? If anybody's just joining, I put up a recipe for a dip week has started. Yes, finally. I'm getting myself under. Ooh, I just, yeah, I thought, I remember thinking that when I'm falling, I went, uh, if I have to go to the emergency room, I'm not in the mood because I just went to my friend's funeral yesterday, buried her. So I didn't need to go to the ER. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to think of gaining. I mean, it's it's there because it's always going to be there. Bruise knee. Ah, uh, me too. Just one though. I mean, it's always in the back of your mind that it comes back really easily, but. That's why you guys are here. You guys are here to keep me in check. This channel, I've never done this before. This year when I started this, I remember thinking, oh, I wanna do a channel. I, I wanna help people. I wanna share what I've learned and the mistakes that I've made and tricks that I found helpful. I thought, I see people doing YouTube. I, I can do YouTube. I think I can do YouTube. I can talk. <laughs> I can talk like the best of them. But, um, hey, Carrie from Canada. So, we're all falling. I think because we're losing weight, we're just lighter on our feet. Uh, I knew it wasn't my ankle. I thought it was my knee. Because my friend of mine, he just his knee got, like, popped or something. That's what I was thinking of. But, um, you're gathering my recipes? <sighs> Tracy, she's my girl. Oh, it's, del it's divine. I linked the um recipe for Ina Garten that's where I got 
that's what the recipe is. I didn't make much changes. I just used less olive oil. Thank you. I need, I need somebody to have my back. I, I am a chatterer. And when I'm nervous, I chatter even more. But this is what hopefully is going to keep me on the straight and narrow. Because you guys are going to wa want to watch Dish with D. She's putting on weight. Oh, Dish with D. She's putting on five more pounds. Oh, when's she going to wake up and realize she's got to go back on Weight Watchers? I mean, I, I mean, I, I can't do it. Nobody's going to want to watch me. So I'm going to be like, I've got like two subscribers. Maybe I'm just not doing the plan. Oh, I'm, I'm, I, you guys inspire me, you know, and, and you and you, you just, ins I get you, you inspire me to come up with things. And I think, what would these what would people like? Well, people like cake. People like breads. Let me find some kind of bread. Oh, uh, thank you, Lainey. So are you. Everybody is you guys, like I said, just you guys listening to me inspires me. I'm like, there are people out there that listen to me. Like, I'm not a nut. <laughs> oh, I'm a little bit nuts, but I'm like, it's, and you guys give me so much information, and I want to do well for you. I just that's why I stay on my plan. I'm like, I'm like I got, I got it. I can't let the dish with the ears down. I can't let the dish with the ears down. I'm glad we all have to be. I mean, it's accountability is big, and I always realize that we are we're all so similar that you think to yourself, oh god, nobody could be as crazy and nuts as me when it comes to food and an obsessive that I am. I'm like, I feel like going back and eating the rest of these. You don't know how hard it is. I mean, because I'm talking to you. If you guys weren't here, I'd be eating the rest of these. Ooh, pumpkin bread. That sounds fabulous, Jane. I hope you enjoy it. Slightly. Oh, yeah. It's funny. <laughs> My husband turns around when I fell and drops the dog's leash. And I'm like, where's the dog? Like, I'm hurt, but I'm worried about my puppy. I'm like, I'm like, never drop the leash. I was worried about you. I said, don't worry about me. I worry about the dog. If he had gotten away, I would have been hysterical. Aw, thank you, Tamsin. I think about food night and day. I dream about food. When I can't sleep, I think about what I'm going to make for dinner the next day. What can I do with it with a certain recipe? Baskin Robbins for dinner. Sounds yummy to me. Everything in moderation. Exactly. That's why. That's why I said you fit the things you like in. Fit in your chocolate candy. Fit in your your sugar-free pudding. Fit in your built bars. I tell this to people all the time. If it helps, preach like and I and I say this and I laughed at her and I, I have a, since apologized to her. My coach, Mary Lou, always has things a certain way. I mean certain things. Like she would have this on Tuesday, but she would have this one on Thursday. And never would they change. It makes perfect sense to me now because she's fitting in treats. So she knows she's going to have them. So she's never denied them. Whereas a lot of people don't have anything. And you know what? I'll have it on way day, which can be good and can be bad. But you can't save everything for way day because then you have this all this food to eat. And you're just going to eat it. And I've, I used to do that. I used to wait till way day and have my treat on way day. Well... It got to be way day breakfast, and then way day breakfast and lunch, and then way day breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I was eating all day. And then came Sunday, well, of course, Sunday morning breakfast, I might as well start after breakfast. So, thank you, Kimmy. So, yeah, that is one thing I, I stopped. I stopped the porking out on way day. I fit things in during the week. I, you know, I do what Mary Lou, I do the Mary Lou method, I call it. I fit in my bars. I fit in the sweets. I fit in the breads. I fit in the chocolate. So it's there all the time. So I don't ever feel like I'm missing stuff because I have it. Do I have as much as I want? Oh, heck no. But I have enough. And it's more than I could ever wish to have because if I, last time I had nothing. So I definitely feel that I'm treating myself better with things. And I make 
the treats. You see, I'm, I'm, um, I posted something on my Dish With These Light and Healthy Living page that I have, if you guys don't know about it. Um, I, I could probably find it, pull it up for you. I posted, um, do you ever follow Mud Hustler? I adore Mud Hustler. He makes a lot of things with protein powder. That's the kind of downside of it, but it oh, looks fantastic. Fantastic. So he made these big cookies. Oh, yes, I am making these cookie sites because I still have some of the devotional protein powder. Hopefully it's vanilla. I hope it's not chocolate because I only have vanilla. But uh, look at that. But I want to make those cookies. They're one point each. Yeah, I'm all there for that. Let me see if I can pull up the page and show you guys. Here it is. Control copy and we will throw it on the link here oh yeah plan your snacks and your treats first because that's the important stuff it's priorities <laughs> for me it's a priority it is a priority that is the link to my facebook i don't call it a fan page it's not a group it's just a page it's where i share stuff that i find on different like Weight Watcher sites or people like Skinny Taste, Drizzle Me Skinny, Emily Bites, Mud Hustler. I follow a bazillion different people. I mean, it's, it's a lot. So when I see something that I think looks fantastic, I share it on there. So if you just follow my page, you'll see all good stuff. Yes, we are human. I always say that. Never forget that. Never forget you are flawed and you're not perfect. We were never made to be perfect. Oh, definitely. I would have had a cheddar biscuit. I mean, hopefully I would have stopped at one. But, oh, yeah. Last night I went out for dinner, I had a piece of bread. I had, they ordered the um, arancini, which is the fried um, risotto balls. I had a piece. I even had a piece of dessert. My husband ordered, um, it was my son was with us, so it was the three of us, uh, sliders, gelato sliders. It's some gelato in the middle of a donut. They were not a real sweet donut, but I had a quarter of one. There were three of them, so I had a quarter of one. That's a win. And I had it, and I thought, you know what? I had the points for it, and I'm, I'm gonna have some, because life throws you dessert, and you have a little bit. I am definitely into moderation. Ooh, flounder. I love broccoli. Yes, when in doubt, I double veg out, but sometimes I have to have a rice or a potato or I'll be starving. Like, sometimes I double veg and I'm like, oh, I can't always double veg because I'm going to be hungry later. So, yeah, i got to throw either a potato or some rice. Because you need to be satiated because you can't, what good is it if you're going to be hungry later? It's a saying. So other than that, anybody have any questions? Anybody have anything they'd like to share? And I'll work on getting that code because, uh, yeah, no sense to order something you don't have a discount. I wouldn't order it. So if I ain't order it, you should order it either. Just saying. I will email them tomorrow. Get my man George. Yeah, those sliders. I should have taken a picture of them, but I didn't. I was like, yeah, homemade gelato. That's good. It was good. My husband's going to have quite the treats when I go upstairs. He's going to have... He'll be like, woo, more candy! I'm like, here you go, go finish all these. Yes, my husband needs my Bill Bars as well. He only, he's only allowed to have certain flavors, I told him. He cannot have the peanut butter because they're my favorite. He could have um, the cherry ones and all the fruit ones. And um, oh, I told you about the story about the um, the mocha. They sent me two boxes by mistake. Yeah. He said, keep them, our gift to you. I'm like, yes. So I have, I have four boxes of mocha instead of two boxes of mocha. So they're still in the freezer. My plans are to stay home. Ooh, Tracy's getting the scoop. I won't get the scoop till the weekend. I personally think a yam is sweeter. 
personally, but, and I always seem to buy yams, because, I don't know why, I just, I don't know, I like yams. I will be doing, I don't have a picture of last year's meal, but I'm making my stuffing. Oh, 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 while I have these here, next mm, Sunday or Monday, I'm not sure which day, it's one of those days I have to get on my calendar. We're having another collab. It's called Lighten Up Thanksgiving Favorites. And I am lightening up cranberry sauce. Yep, it's gonna be pretty much zero points because I'm gonna be using uh, monk fruit. And uh, again, Ina Garten Twist. She uses um, the zest and juice of two lemons and two oranges and an apple. <gasps> Tracy's part of that. That's right, you are. Thank you for reminding me. I think you're making salad or something? I don't remember. Now, Robbie's making mac and cheese. Joan's making carrot salad. All right, I'm making, come turn into mine. I'm going to have lemon zest and orange zest and a juice and, and an apple. Ina Garten says, that's it, broccoli and rice casserole. Ina Garten says, that's the apple has pectin naturally, and that'll help thicken it. So I listen to Ina Garten, and I do it every time, and it works every time. And let me tell you, I always buy at Sam's or BJ's the big bag of cranberries, because you only get them this time of year, and the bags of fresh cranberries freeze beautifully. So I have cranberry sauce all year. I'll take some out and cook it down, and so I'm excited to share that. I wanted to do the green bean casserole, but I figured cranberries was more important than green beans, so. And I could have done two, but problem with me is I have great aspirations, and then it's a hot mess in the kitchen, so. If I feel like I can get it done, possibly I'll do the green beans. Yes, Ina Garten, that's what she does, and I use it every time. I put an apple or two, depending on how much you make, and it, it cooks into it, so you don't really know there's apple in there, and it gives it a nice flavor, and it helps thicken it. Heard it here. Ina Garten. I got. I'm gonna. I hashtagged her on the video today because that was her recipe. I'm like Ina, please watch my video. I'm gonna have to send her a Facebook message. Oh, she has a Facebook. I know. I, I thought about. it. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I love Ina too. I'll go out, Carrie. I sing, I highly suggest it to you. The, my problem with going out is, I like leftovers. I love the turkey sandwich. I just do, and it's not Thanksgiving without a turkey sandwich. I hear that, Tams, and I often wanted to brine mine. <gasps> oh, your first cooking demo? Excited, excited. I am, um, the green one, I'll tell you about it, and we'll see if I get a chance to make it. Oh. Ellie, they freeze fantastic. Fan, just leave in the bag of the comments. Throw them in the freezer or double bag it. Fantastic. Oh, uh, I get it. With, I like leftovers. My, We went out one year and it was saddest week because, I mean, it was nice. The dinner was nice, but you come home and the house didn't smell Thanksgiving. The next day we didn't have the leftovers. I love leftovers. I love, but what I am, um, I'll tell you about my green bean casserole real quick. I steam the green beans, the long Harry Couvert ones, the thin ones. I steam them. And then, of course, you put them in the shock them in the water, you know, and then they cool down. Because I usually do that earlier. So when I go to, to make the green beans towards the closer to dinner time, I get maybe a teaspoon or maybe two of the light butter and melt it in the pan. And I get some of the, I get an onion, slice it pretty thin. And I cook it in the butter. And you cook it till you know, like onions get all caramelized and fantastic. It's a while. It takes a while. But they'll get the, and once they're nice and caramelized, you throw the green beans in. And I pick, um, oh, no, 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 before the green beans, I'm sorry. Well, our onions are caramelized. I throw mushrooms in. And you saute the mushrooms with the onions. And then once they get tender, you throw the green beans back in. And uh, probably maybe a quarter a cup, depending on how many green beans I have, of almond milk. And then you see it gets a little, you know, 
creamy, not real heavy, just a little bit. And then I throw a little um, nuts. If you have almonds, I've used pecans, I've used hazelnuts, whatever nut you have around. Just a little bit. Or throw it in there. And then when you plate them, you would put a little sprinkling of little extra nuts on top. You don't miss the green bean casserole because it's it's beany, it's oniony, it's creamy, it's crunchy. It's fantastic. Yes, make um, Pound Dropper's pumpkin pie. That's what I'm making. It's a crustless pumpkin pie. It looks fantastic. I've made one from the Weight Watchers app, and it's just like that one, so I'm just going to make hers. My, I'm telling you, I should. I was going to go with the green beans, but I more people have cranberry sauce, so that's why I'm going with the cranberry sauce. But what I always do is now for my Thanksgiving, I'll use go. I'll make the green beans, obviously. I'll have a sweet potato casserole for them. I'm not a big sweet potato person. I mean, they're okay. I don't dislike them, but it's not something I went for. My family loves it. I make it with the. Um, it's like a streusel pecan topping. It's Tastes like dessert. I mean, I do like it, but I don't know. I don't like it like I'm more of a stuffing. I like stuffing. That is my yes. So what I'll do is I'll get my Brussels sprouts, onions, carrots, maybe some butternut squash, several different root vegetables and vegetables of the season and roast them. And then I'll put those on my plate. So I got a plate full of roasted veggies, my white turkey, my stuffing, and my cranberry. That's all I want. And maybe a little bit of gravy. And really, the only thing I have to count is the stuffing. Oh, if I have Brussels sprouts, too. Well, I won't eat those Brussels sprouts. I'll eat my roasted Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Shakari wants the green beans. Make the green beans. I will do my best to get them. We'll see. I'll try. Maybe I'll do like a mini. Not as many, so I probably won't be as, you know... Hi, Esther. Oh, hi, Lisa. Where, where did you, um, how did you find me? I always love to know how people find you. How did you find me, Lisa? I don't have a, a good low point one. I saw, and I think I shared it on my Dish With These, like, it was little phyllo cups with little, they were little pecan pie cups. I can't remember who made them. Let me see if I can find it. And they were one point each, I believe. I don't know if I, it's on there. I don't know if I could literally look it up. I'll do my best. But pecan pie is one of those things that it's hard to get low on point because corn syrup, pecans, they're naturally high in points. But I don't know if it was Hungry Girl. I'm thinking it was Hungry Girl. I don't know why I'm thinking it was Hungry Girl, but I thought it was Hungry Girl that had something. And I cannot, it won't let me look, will it? Oh, maybe it will now. Oh, I like those mud hustlers. Oh, okay. I tracked bites of... Oh, were you the one that I responded to? I didn't respond to somebody on his post. He doesn't move. Oh, great. Oh, okay, I'm glad you showed... I'm glad you, you found me. I mean, glad you showed up. I mean, glad you showed up. Glad you, you came on. Oh, that sounds delicious, Tamsin. I know I, I shared something with pecans. I know I did. It takes forever to load. And um, also, Mudhouser posted something with eggnog cupcakes and eggnog cake yeah i'm all over eggnog i might have, i mean i like eggnog but i don't love eggnog when i make eggnog i don't put as much nutmeg i know that's what make eggnog eggnog but yeah me no like yeah nutmeg that's why i don't like the pumpkin you're gonna go meet with sandy how fantastic 
That's nice. Are you going to Michigan? Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. It's your lucky day. It is, let me say, Emily Bites. Let's see if I can pull it up. Here it is. I'm going to get you the link because that's the kind of gal I am. All right. I am sending you control copy. Okay, who asked me? Somebody asked me for pecan. All right, Lori, there you go, Lori. I just posted something from Emily Bites. They're actually not too, um... Oh, you met her last time, how fabulous. Good job, Esther. Extra brandy for the eggnog. Sounds good. I know. My, my dad was going to be Christmas when the cookies are around. Yeah, that's going to be my downfall. Did I miss anything while I was going? Looking, I don't think I did. I think I caught up. Ah, uh, well, if you like turtles, you would probably go nuts over these. These taste like turtles. These dark chocolate crunch. There's just no nuts. There's caramel and there's um. These are two points, I think they're, two, yeah, two points each. So they're four points for the pack. Not way better than a turtle. Yes, I ditched the troll. He's gone. Uh, they may have Splenda. Um, glycerin, glycerin. I can only read that would be because I know the other one had Splenda. No, that's the other one had Stevia. Non fat dry milk, cocoa, salted butter, cream, salt, and his listening. Sucralose. I don't really see anything, but. What you can do is, you, if you're that interested, you can look it up on their thing. Like I said, I don't see it, but... Hi, Tabby! Hi, Esther. Okay, I think I said Tabby. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't blame you. I, um... I, we were on Sweet and Low for a while, and then we switched over to Splenda. I don't really like Stevia. It's not for any reason. I just don't think it's sweet enough, and I think Sweet and Low is too sweet. Splenda seems to give me just the enough of the sweetness, but I can see if it, if it bothers you. I, yeah, I wouldn't have it. Oh, okay. Circulose is Splenda. Glad I have somebody here because I didn't know that. So yep, has Splenda in it. Now this one, this one has stevia. Didn't 
like this. I thought it tastes like dollar store chocolate. Yeah, I, I wouldn't eat it. No. I would take the points for the good stuff. Uh, this monk fruit. Um, it's sweeter than Swerve. Swerve, I thought, had no sweetness at all. I thought that was, I, I was putting it like I was, uh, I, I would say, um, along that line, yes. It's not as sweet as Sweet and Low. I think Sweet and Low is the sweetest. I don't enjoy Sweet and Low at all because it's too sweet. Um, I definitely think Monk Fruit is probably, probably the one that I've, um, ah, the one that I've been using for baking. I use Splenda in my tea, like a packet, but you know Splenda has points if you have used so much of it. You know, but it's funny, I, we were big Sweet and Low people, and then once you switch and get used to the Splenda, the Sweet and Low is much sweeter. But that was my problem. Like, oh, going, what's wrong with it? It's like, it's really sweet. Because we were at breakfast at our nights at Columbus, and all they had is sweet low. And I'm thinking, oh, it works for me. So I put it in there. I'm like, ooh. Truvia. Oh. Now, this Truvia, I believe, has points, too. Because I was buying, looking at the Truvia Brown Sugar Blend, and it had points. I think, yeah, I agree with you, Carrie. I think, um... Sweet and low can be bitter. I don't have an after... I'm used to artificial sweeteners, so I don't get many, much of an aftertaste from them. Oh, speaking of um, aftertaste, I tried... I don't think you ever heard of this. I should have brought it down with me. It's called Dive Bar. They were having some kind of only pay shipping to try their bars. Um, didn't like those either. thought they tasted... That, had, that was the first thing I've tried in a long time that had aftertaste. Ugh. But I also, what is coming in the mail, that I, another thing I ordered that said display shipping, was it's called N-E-O-H. Neo, you'd say it. They're supposed to be along the lines of a three-point crispy bar. I'm interested to see how that tastes. Um, you get those, I believe, on Amazon. You don't, I don't think they're, they're not like a company thing, I don't think. But that should be coming, so maybe next week I will taste those bars when they come. I like having, it's fun, no fun for you, but it's fun for me. Oh, well, I have a fantastic brown sugar substitute. Swerve was never my favorite. Um, monk fruit brown is, golden is okay, but that circin or sucrin gold, it's more pricier. That's the only thing, it's expensive. Um, but it's fantastic. It's probably the best sugar substitute I've ever had. It's so much like brown sugar. It has that packability that brown sugar has. And it's dark. And you can smell like that brown sugar molasses -y smell that the other ones don't have. It's, yeah. It's a little, I'm not going to say it's cheap. I think a bag costs me $16 on Amazon. Yeah, it's certainly not cheap. Thank you, Teeny. And I gladly will be. Yes, Amazon. Um, I have it linked in my Amazon store. Tracy, if you want to look at it, um, I can show you the store. I can. I will show you my Amazon link. So I pull it up. See how talented I am. Plug my phone in. Ah, there we go. There we go. My phone was dying, so we're plugged in. So yes, I um, that's my Amazon store. It's just you just send Amazon. You just said what it was. You put links in in a page. It's not anything different than being. It's an Amazon affiliate. You're not upcharged. I just share stuff, and Amazon gives me a kickback you don't get charged any more for the stuff that you purchase it's the same whether you purchase it by yourself or through a link of mine i would have to put that out there because
you could try that. I mean, that might work. But I, the Cirque and Gold, is my favorite. I have to say, it is, it is the bomb. It really is. I've never tasted anything so good as for a sugar substitute. I was duly impressed. So other than that, anybody have any questions? Smut concerns other than the creepy trolls we had tonight? Hey, Brenda, you missed the Shaka Wright taste test. Sirkin is good. It, it really is. I have to say it's pricey, but I mean, I don't use that much of it. So I, you know, quarter cup here and there. I tasted the Shaka Wright peanut butter cups. I don't know, Esther. They, um, you mean join Weight Watchers in the U.S.? Bye, Lainey. Have a good night. Oh, it's Choco Right is the brand. And these were called the Peanut Butter Cup Patties. They were decent. Two, two of these. I'll show you what they look like. Well, it's, imagine this chocolate not being there. These are like a three-year-old must have made these. But... There were two points each. The whole pack is four points. I mean, is it as good as a peanut butter cup? No. But is it good enough? Yes. <laughs> I did enjoy this one, too. The dark chocolate crunch. This tasted like a turtle. It was delicious. Didn't have the nuts, but the crispies and the caramel and the dark chocolate was good. I did enjoy that. And this one, that was four points as well for that. You get two of them. This one is, I believe, was three points. This is a protein one. Oh, chocolate fell out. This is a cookies and cream bar. The whole bar was three points. I'll show you the inside. Mine's a Quest bar covered in chocolate. I'd buy it. It was good. Um, I did not enjoy this one. Tasted like Dollar Tree chocolate. It was not good. It was good. I'm trying to work out a discount code for you guys. You can get some money off. We'll see. I know mean, they have them on Amazon. It shouldn't take long. According to my coach, he said it should only take you a few minutes. Answer a few questions, and then it should direct you to what plan that they think you should be on and remember you're not you're not locked in if you decide you want to go to a different plan you should be able to go right back in there to where the plans are and scroll and just put yourself to a different plan that's what you told me i'll know more tomorrow maybe we'll see what's tomorrow monday am i doing anything tomorrow night i don't think so maybe tomorrow if the app does change Maybe I'll come on tomorrow night and see if anybody has any questions. And Not that I am an expert, because I am certainly not. But maybe we can figure it out together. You never know. You're not seeing my face. Do you see it now? No, they will not give you the, They will not offer you the magenta plan. Oh, good. Maybe you can report in tomorrow night, Brenda. Maybe we should meet up tomorrow night at like 7 or 8. What do you think, guys? Is that a good... Should we meet up tomorrow? Oh, you can see me now? I don't know. There is... I plugged it in and it doesn't sit well on the thing, so I have to hold it. Ah. I could go to a different meeting, but I'll just go Saturday. Are you joining tomorrow? Are you joining um, in Canada? Oh, and, oh, okay. That's where you're going to. How far are you? Like, do we have just like go over the border to go? 
They have a lot of good specials now. A lot of good specials. This is definitely the week to join. Hey, look who it ain't. It's Amy. Amy, Amy can answer any questions, guys. Amy's got the old tens. Did you go to a meeting today, Amy? Let's all say hi to Amy. Hi, Amy. We're drinking and eating chocolate. Well, actually, they're drinking. I'm eating chocolate. Okay. Amy's going tomorrow morning. I don't go till Saturday. I could probably go to a different meeting, but I figure everybody else is talking about it. Let them do it. <laughs> Let you guys do it. I'll talk about it Saturday. Let you guys work. I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll sit this one back. <laughs> Hey, Judith. Oh, okay. That's not too far, Esther. 10 miles isn't too far. Heck, I work six miles from my house. Oh, there you go. Send them a free month. Only problem is, I don't know if you can use the free month with the special. It's either, I don't know if they'll let you do that. Because some of the specials are really, really good right now. You can join for like, like $7.50 a week, which is incredible. We are chatting away. I am eating. Never try these, Amy. Chocolate. They're okay. Few I few I'd buy. Few I wouldn't buy. Yeah, um, those specials you could look up if you go to weight, um, weightwatchers.com. You should be able to have them. Yeah, usually weightwatchers.com, they always are offering specials. I know I get them all the time offered. Especially this week with the big, you know, plan reveal. I'm sure they're going to be having specials. Cheers! I she has water and I have what tea do I have? Oh, I have the flower raspberry tea. And I'm going to attach that video to my vlog tomorrow. And I pour the water on the little pod and it blooms. And you have flowering tea. It really is pretty, I have to say. And you watch it open up and it has like a red bud, the raspberry. It's fantastic. It's just cute and it makes me happy. Yeah, if you can, I'm pretty sure they, they were running specials last week, and I'm sure they're going to be running specials this week. If you go to WW, I always be called WeightWatchers.com. I guess it's still called WeightWatchers.com. They usually always have specials. Especially, like I said, when they're always having uh, a new plan, it's always like, they run them in September. They run them in January. Every time they need to, um, business. See if I can plan. So you get started for just a dollar a day. Dollar a day. So that's like a dollar a day means it's thirty dollars a month. So that's cheap. But like I said, I don't know if you can do the steals with the free month. I don't know. That I don't know. Sometimes they want you to do either or, and I think the dollar a day is probably the best way to go. Yes, I sent you, um, if you want to use my Amazon link, you can do that. It doesn't cost you any more. I posted it. Visit my store, all my favorite things. And be aware, I'm coming up to 2,500 subscribers, and I am, the, the steal is if you, WW International is having a dollar a day plan. Um, I don't know, Tamsin. It depends on the tea because I know you can use fruit juice. I, if it was a fruity herbal tea, it might work. Has to be fruity though. 
not quite sure like a flowery tea like a chamomile would taste very good uh we we call it international w it's weightwatchers.com that's what we call international it's just called weight watchers international w weightwatchers.com you go to www.weightwatchers.com i will post the link right here give me a minute see it's us i'm not sure you would you would um because you're where you're at whether you would qualify i hate to say it that way but give me a minute Ugh. That doesn't. That don't look good, does it? What else do we have? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's put it up here. This. See, it's U.S. I'm not quite sure that you can get that. Yeah, see, you probably couldn't get that, Esther. Yeah, they call it international, but technically it really isn't international. It's like Weight Watchers US, but we always refer to it as international. I'm actually, I go to a franchise. I go to Weight Watchers of Philadelphia. So, the meeting where I go. And possibly may it be employed there someday. We'll see. We'll see. This takes up a lot of my time. I'm not sure I can give Weight Watchers any time anyway. Plus, they're too rigid. They're gonna take over my magenta plan now. You wait and see. It's gonna be the next. It's few months gonna be magenta. It's gonna be out. Yes, I am. I know. I'm holding my phone because it died, so I had to plug it in. So in order for me to, I have to hold it this way. You could, I think it would be, f oh, I was, now I'm not, yeah, it was like this. Um, yeah, I would use maybe if you had a, like a pineapple tea, maybe a peach tea might not be too bad. But herbal teas, to me, sometimes get very, what's the word I'm looking for? Herbally. Yeah, not a big herbally fan. I like plain tea black preferably like this one in case you guys weren't here from when i did my tea reveal i am drinking coconut vanilla doesn't taste like coconut it tastes like a vanilla cookie best dessert tea i've ever had it's better than the tazo uh, uh vanilla macaron this is actually a little bit better i have to say i i may be swayed not because i represent them but organic organic teas organic teas or where it's at i have to say that i i mean i hate to say it like that but they're really really good oh i will put a link up to where you can get them and i can give you 20 percent off at davidson's because i am a davidson's ambassador I will let me grab it while we're chatting and I will gladly share that with you. Yeah, I, my love of tea, you know, they, um, they're very nice there and I, um, is that, I'm, no, I've not tried David's. I have, this is Davidson's. Um, all right, Lisa. I mean, Tracy, <laughs> thanks for coming. Oh, cool. That's super cool. Let me see if I can prop you up here. And let me see if I can get the Davidson's link. Okay. Put it back. That link, hold on, 
and that will get you 20% off if you're interested never pressure I'm just okie dokie artichokey I'm telling you I've never tasted it such a good tea in my life. And it's actually reasonably priced considering it's organic. I'm a little, was a little bit shocked if I were, and they come in like something you have to buy a whole crap ton. Like this box, they it came with eight bags. So you're not locked into like a whole box of 30, which if you ever buy a box of 30, then you end up not liking it. You have like all these stinking tea bags. All right, Amy. See you tomorrow. Thanks for stopping in. They sell them in eight, which is kind of cool. Rich indulgence this is herbal, which I would never know because it's not very herbalicious. But like I said, that's what I liked about them. You can get a small box, you can get a large box. That's what I thought was nice. Oh uh, yeah, pumpkin chai. And they have, Davidson's has loose and bagged. I kind of like both. Oh, pumpkin chai is where it's at. Let me tell you. Mm. Pumpkin chai is delicious. I was thinking of doing a pumpkin chai with almond milk because I did my regular chai last week with almond milk. So I'm thinking pumpkin chai with almond milk sounds delicious. I might have to try that. Hmm. All right, guys. Anything else before we sign off? It's 830 already. I've been chatting for an hour and 34 minutes. Yes, I have, if nothing else, steep your tea in almond milk. Unsweetened. Preferably vanilla most times. Um, this one, the flowering tea was. This one. Yes, this one's decaf. Most of my other teas usually aren't. Um, the ones I have in the afternoon. The my favorite lemon mango is not. That's insane how good that is. And it's funny because sometimes lemon tea tastes like pledge. Not Davidson's. It tastes fantastic. 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 I couldn't believe a good good night, Esther. Blueberry. See, I'm gonna tell you about me and blueberry. Blueberry gives me indigestion. I don't know what it is. Blueberry tea. Anything blueberry, it repeats. I don't know why. I know. I'm weird. So, alrighty, I'm going to be heading out. Anybody have any last comments, questions? Anything you'd like to add before we sign off? Put this dish with tea with D to bed. I thank you all for coming, and I thank all the new people who showed up. For the first time, I'm glad you spent your hour with me tonight. And you know what? Maybe we'll come back on tomorrow. How about that? I'll come back on tomorrow night. Maybe what's tomorrow's Monday. I don't think I'm doing anything tomorrow. I don't think I'm doing anything tomorrow night. Oh, no. I think I'm going live tomorrow night with Joan. I'm not sure. We didn't talk about it. But I can come... You know what? If we go live, I can just come home and go live here. Maybe like 8.30 or 9. If anybody has any questions. I can notice I'll post on the community post tomorrow, late tomorrow. In case you guys you know, have any, any help with the app. Or we can all talk about the app. And, you know, if anybody's having any problems. But I'll try to go on live with her. Yeah, well, she wants to we want to go on and we want to taste these. Chaka writes for our Facebook group. They always enjoy when we do live tastings because we're like, ugh. A few of these I've already tried, so I snuck them in. Uh -oh. All right, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for sharing. Remember, if you know anybody that could benefit from Dish With D, share me on your social media. I would love, love more love. And remember, 2,500 subscribers is going to be a giveaway. I have all things planned. So as soon as we hit 2,500, it's going to be a post. Um, I'm thinking we usually go live around 7. Give or take. You guys are part of our Facebook group. I will post that before we go if you'd like to join. Because I don't know who wouldn't want to join. 
our group is fantastic. I mean, some people might not think that, but I don't go on the group as much as I should. I really don't. I'm a bad, I'm a bad co-host. But I will share the group in case you guys want to join. I hope none of you were thrown off. Some people might have been. Let me just grab this link. Let's do it right here. Control copy. And we'll push it right here. Control B. All right. There's the link for our Facebook group. You have to fill out the questions. It's read the rules. You know, we have to have rules because keep things, you know, there's just some, some things that have to be organized housekeeping stuff but other than that you know thanks for joining ladies and gents there's such a new gents thank you for joining ladies oh you know i do i like my peeps i do care i want you all to be with me in the land of what's it called uh maintenance or um lifetime we'll all be lifetime together it's all get a free seat with WW. You can't be lifetime online though. You have to be lifetime at meetings. That's the only thing. Like if you want to be lifetime, you have to join towards the end and like lose like the last 10 pounds or 15 pounds and you can be lifetime Weight Watchers and get your app for free. But you have to weigh in once a month because they give you the coupon to put in for the free app. Everybody have a great weight loss week. That's perfect, Diane. I like how she thinks. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, there's a Facebook group if you want to come watch us live and taste some more candy. I'm going to be gaining weight this week with all these taste tests. Have a fantastic night. Remember, take care, Edie. Remember, we are what we eat. That didn't sound good, did it? Let's all seek the pot of gold. I like how Tamsin thinks.